hello you are welcome back to my channel if this is the first time you're joining us you're highly welcome please take the front seat and enjoy okay yes we have an interesting geometry question to solve please this is not drawn to scale now this is the quarter of a circle meaning that this is a quadrant and inside the quadrant is inscribed a semicircle of from here to here is 40 is 40 units right okay now we are asked to find the area of this semicircle yes first of all the first thing we need to interpret is that a b is the radius of the quadrant okay a b is the radius of the quadrant and dc is the diameter of the smaller semicircle now let's point this point let's call it o be the center of dc so it means that for the smaller circle let our semicircle sorry be equal to the radius radius of the semicircle okay so that means that do is equal to oc which is equal to r right since this c is the diameter of the semicircle so it means that here is r and here is r now if we join remember that this is not drawn to scale so you can see that my um semicircle is somehow tilted to the right it's not actually in the middle but i don't want to redraw it again because i know how 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 hard i tried to get it to this point so if we connect o o center o to this point of tangency all right you know that here is going to be 90 degrees so i have to take care of my baby okay so let's continue now remember that here is 90 degrees why because a b is a tangent to this semicircle at this point here right then from center of this semicircle to this point is our r right it's also the radius of the semicircle and using this circle theorem that states that if you have a tangent a b sorry this is a tangent okay tangent a b and this is the center of this circle the radius of the circle touching the tangent at each point of contact has or uh, you are going to get 90 degrees at the point of the connection or at the point of contact between the circle and the tangent so that is why we have 90 degrees here now also this is a quadrant right meaning that this is the center of this circle so definitely this is 90 as well so here is already 90 so angle in a straight line is sum of angle in a straight line is 180 so if this is 90 then the remaining portion should be 90 now this side is 90 as well that means the remaining side should be 90 yes because the sum of angle in a quadrant is uh, 360 so if we have 90 90 90 then definitely the remaining side should be 90 degrees now if this is the first time you have seen us please click that subscription button turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos we upload our videos as much as possible so tune in at your convenience there must be something new for you to watch by god's grace give us a thumbs up if you actually love what we are doing yes it means a lot to us as it helps the algorithm to push the video more to those that really need it especially the students for their exams so thank you very much now this is trying to tell us that this is what a rectangle yes now from here to here is our radius of the circle then it means that da is r as well all right yeah so if here is r and here is r and here is r and here is r then this is a rectangle specifically a square so if we join a to c if we join a to c remember excuse me 
I'm so sorry. If we join A to C, now remember that A B being the radius of this quadrant is 40 and ac is also 40 because ac is also the radius of this quadrant now we are going to consider triangle a d c okay let's consider triangle a d c this is d this is a this is c um this is 90 um ac is 40 right the radius of the quadrant here is R and R. R plus R is 2R. And this place is R as well. Remember they were asked to find the area of the semicircle. And once you're able to get the radius, we will get the area, right? So that is what I'm trying to do all this way. Okay. Now, using the Pythagorean theorem, using the Pythagorean theorem, 40 squared is equal to r squared plus 2 r squared so we have 40 squared is equal to r squared plus 2 squared is 4 r squared is r squared now 40 squared is 40 multiplied by 40 is equal to 5 r squared okay now, 4 times 4 is 16, remaining two zeros, is equal to 5 R squared. Dividing both sides by 5, then we have 1 6 divided by 5 is equal to 5 R squared divided by 5. 5, we divide 16, 3, 3 remainder, 1, divide 10, we have 2, divide 0, we have 0, is equal to 5, we divide itself, 1, 1 times R squared is R squared. Now, we are not going to get the value of R, we are going to see now. Remember that we are asked to find the area of the semicircle. Now, area of a semicircle is half pi r squared yes so this is equal to half pi and we've gotten our arrow squared to be 320 see why i did not bother trying to get the value of r okay so r squared is 320 so the area of the semicircle is equal to two we divide three to give us one worry in that one Device 12 is 6, device 0 is 0. So it's 160 pi square units. And that is the value. You can use your calculator to get this in decimal. Okay? Not in terms of pi. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.